On this episode of the Tiny Home Adventure, Ashley's parents and Liam's family join us for the holidays. We have an unexpected visitor. We get out spearfishing and catch dinner for everyone. We wake up Liam's younger brothers for Christmas. Both Liam and I get our butts kicked on a spirited horse. And more. After two years of building the expedition vehicle of our dreams from the ground up, the time has finally come to hit the road. Watch as Kicker, Ashley and I push ourselves to our physical and emotional limits, put our relationship to the test and overcome unforeseen obstacles. Our goal is to spread positivity while learning from some of the world's most inspiring people. Welcome to Season 3 of the Tiny Home Adventure. We started this week out quite different than normal. Ashley and Liam's family flew in to join us for the holidays. <laughs> they rented a really cool little house on the beach so we could all spend some quality time together. When we arrived, there was a cow in the yard that decided to hang out pretty much the entire time we were there. So this cow decided to hang out with us last night. He's back for more. She It's mutters. I want to ride it, I think. I'm trying to make friends with it, so it'll let me ride it, but it doesn't really like me. Freediving has continued to get more and more peaceful and enjoyable as we get better. It's so cool to be able to spend time seeing this completely different world. Got a fish! We got the group out for a much needed sunset yoga session. This was my first time guiding a yoga class and I really enjoyed it. Although I missed my own family dearly, but it was really nice getting to know everybody. Ashley is very close with her parents and traveling for the last few months has been really, really hard for her. So this was a great opportunity to get to spend some time together. So it's fun. This kind of feels like it's come full circle from when we learned to uh, play fish in Gonzaga Bay on our first days in Baja to now um, feeling fairly competent in playing fish, getting a lot more meat off them. Liam and I went out and caught all this fish while spear fishing. It's going to be enough to feed 11 of us tonight. Um, this is a trigger fish, some of the same fish that we caught in Gonzaga Bay and yeah, it's just uh, Feels really good. Feels really cool to be able to like go into the ocean, um, learning to hold our breath and hunt. And for me, you know, this was really challenging a couple, couple moons ago. And now I feel really confident, comfortable working with the fish. So yeah, really, really cool experience so far. I feel like a man. Not a huge fillet, not a huge trigger fish, but we'll take it. Meat on the table. Meat on the table, baby. 
Here in this house, it takes 10 years to boil this pasta water, so I've been here for about five years at this point. <laughs> but we're making some Alfredo, Ooh, some Alfredo with broccoli and mushrooms, and then the boys went out and caught fish today, so we've got some fish sauteing in a pan with garlic and butter, and then my dad grilled up some pineapple, so we got a little smorgasbord happening tonight, but I'm excited. <laughs> Well, we're trying to saute some uh, garlic with butter and lime. We're experimenting to try a new taste on the fish. An amazing fish caught today by the spearfisher. That's right. If it doesn't work out, it's Ashley's fault. That's right. I'll take blame for it if it doesn't work out. <laughs> I think that might be the biggest one of these guys we've gotten. Let me see that thing, Andrew. Hey. Whoa, he's almost as big as you. That's right. Hey, poop doll. <laughs> what are you doing, kicker? Are you my little Rudolph? Rudolph the poop nose reindeer? Just out cruising for the Christmas sunrise paddleboard with kicker dog? Pretty good. Don't fall in, dog. So Liam's brothers have been sleeping until like noon. It's Christmas day. We're gonna go Stop wake them up. up. We gotta open presents. We gotta get them. Ready? All right, let's go. Liam will follow you. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Come on, come on, kick her, come. Come. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Erica! You guys are already awake. This is less fun. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> so apparently Santa came last night. I don't know what it is. Kicker's pretty excited. Kicker, open it. Oh boy. Oh, there's their kicker socks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Their socks. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Adventure nice socks. socks. Boot protection. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Thank you. Thank you. So it is Christmas Day and in true Baja style, we're out here going kiting. My parents have never seen me kite before, so I'm excited to show them what I've learned and hopefully not eat it in front of them because it's definitely wavy and there's definitely a lot of people. So we'll see how it goes, but I've been wanting this. It's super fun getting out on the surfboard with the kite in these bigger conditions. It's a little tricky riding without straps, but it makes for a ton of fun.
Yeah, what do you Maybe think of Christmas I dinner? Christmas in Mexico. Can't no, complain. <laughs> <laughs> he, he told me these are as big as the mosquitoes are in Alaska. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what he said. He said these are like mosquitoes up there. Tripod. Yeah. turkey, you would have done it, right? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make contact with this one. <laughs> hey, just put your forehead out. <laughs> we'll choose your forehead. So Liam's the actual cowboy of the group and uh, we found a spot to rent horses for two hours. So I'm gonna go put Liam on a horse, try and get some yeah. shots, maybe try and get on a horse as well. Go riding up down the Arroyo, make Andrew gallop. It's gonna be pretty sick. I'm gonna gallop. We'll see, I hope so. Yeah, this is Princessa. Princessa, I want you to meet mm -hmm. Liam. She's the alpha female of the herd, the yeah. grandma who started it all. Wow. Uh, original rescue, she's the OG. And I'd say that she's somewhere between 15 or 18 years okay. old. Um, really nice girl, but she loves to go. She, yeah. she, she, she prances a little bit. Um, she'll do whatever the rider asks her to do, but she'll um, she'll invite the rider to to gala previously. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, Liam, what do you think? Pretty stoked. I'm actually a little bit nervous. It's probably been three years since I've been on a horse properly, but I'm excited. Spent a lot of time around horses. Grew up with a roping arena at my house, so this is gonna be awesome. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm psyched, psyched to see you shred. Oh yeah. Woo! Hopefully you're better on a horse than you are a surfboard. It's pretty fun to watch. Liam's kind of getting his butt kicked by this horse. <laughs> he may tell you otherwise, but. So Liam, how was that? Oh, that was sweet. She's a beautiful horse. Took me a second to like get used to her. Honestly, watching you is terrifying. She wants to go, big yeah. time. So how, how do you stop her from going? Well, it's like a lot of horse control. So, um, you know, it's a, you, you communicate to the horse with your legs. Okay. And then um, it's really a lot in the reins. So you want to hold the reins. With her, you got to hold the reins real tight up to okay. her head. Yep. And so it's it's like, you know, steering basically. You pull out. Okay. You pull out for where you want to turn her. Yep. Um, and then she wants to gallop a lot. Every time she wants to go, she wants to gallop. And uh -huh. so, um, you know, if you don't want to gallop, you just, you just kind of pull back on the brakes. You know, pull it back on the reins. Okay. And you're braking. Okay. And then you talk to the horse. You know, whoa, whoa. You know, her okay. name's Princessa. She knows her name. Okay. Um, when I first got on her, you know, we were definitely uncomfortable with each other, but she, I think she knows me now a little bit. Nice. She understands where I want her to go and yeah. stuff. That's why we ended up playing up there and everything. But. Cool. Well, Woo. I'll try. Kick up and over? Yep, up and over. Easy money. Oh, yeah. Easy. All right. Whoa. So make sure Whoa. the brakes are even in your hands. Okay. Easy. And then make sure, you know, you know that you're in control. 
and then as I go forward, easy, easy. How's that? Like Perfect. here? Yep. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay. There we go. Yeah, good girl. Easy. Leading up to this, I had a grand vision of galloping down the arroyo on the horse. But after watching Liam and how uncomfortable he was the entire time, even with much more experience than I had, I knew I was in trouble. I am 100% not in control and absolutely terrified right now. Uh oh. Definitely not trying to go in the bushes. Did you see her like nuzzle up against me? Yeah, I, admit, I didn't get the shot of it, but that was really cute. She was doing that right when I got off the horse too. Really? She likes you? I think so, I think we're friends now. See, I don't speak horse language, I speak dog. Horse, I have no idea. <laughs> How does this compare to riding a, a pig? Riding a pig. Well, <laughs> the thing is, um, a little faster, but a little more under control. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, how I, that's how I would describe it the best. <laughs> when Liam's parents were in town, we learned a lot of things about Liam. He is a <laughs> grand champion pig raiser. Pig raiser and showman. And showman. Yeah. Um, so of course we assumed he knows how to like ride horses and do all this stuff so we really put him to the test today. It was yeah. fun. I was, I was pretty nervous at first not gonna lie. I mean it's been a couple of years since I've been on a horse and also the only horses I've ever ridden have been my horses versus borrowing one. Um, but Princess and I here go along great. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I felt comfortable there about the middle toward the end. So. I went into this whole situation way too confident as always and realized that riding horses is not that easy and it's not something you can just like be good at. <laughs> I hopped on Princessa and I thought I was going to die the entire time. I was so out of control. But that's fun. It's fun. It's a good experience. Liam did great. When, when, the, while you were on it, I was, I was scared. Really? For, at first, yeah. For yeah. sure. Um, nice. When we opened up on the Arroyo, that was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, she was cruising. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tiny Home Adventure. It has been an absolute blast getting out, doing what we love, hoping to inspire positivity, love, adventure, and um, yeah, just doing our best to live the best life that we can imagine and trying to give Kicker Dog the best life here possible is what it's all about so just want to say thank you so much a huge thanks to our patrons for making this possible we are working so hard to keep the wheels turning to keep weekly episodes coming your way and without you it would not be possible if you're interested check out the link in the description there's all kinds of ways to join we have all kinds of cool benefits for our patrons and uh, we love making this awesome content and we hope that you enjoy it as well thank you so much and we'll see you in the next episode of the tiny home adventure Woohoo! kicker Say hello. Oh, give him that stretch. Give him that full stretch. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a good dog. <laughs>